Hello, everybody. This is David Knox coming to you on our first Monday Administrator Manager webinar, Monday, February 1, 2016. I always like doing these for you. Hope you find value. First thing we're going to do is uh, let you know the next date. Yeah, it is February 29th. That didn't, that's right, it's leap year. Uh, we're also going to talk about our uh, 2016 videos. We have a guest presenter, William Peach, who is on uh, live with us in just a few minutes. And I also am going to add to this uh, some of the new tasks that we've put into the uh, the task feature we put into our accountability plan. So first of all, you should have all received our monthly email announcement. This goes to managers and administrators only. It does not go to your agents. So we recommend that you either kind of edit this or forward or send your own blast email to your agents and let them know about the, two, the new videos. Uh, the bottom of that same email was for this webinar. So forward that to your agents so they know what's going on. And remember, I keep reminding you about doing Skype. You know, when I've asked people, how come you're not taking me up on Skype? A lot of people say, oh, I don't know how to use it. So um, go to Skype.com and download the software. If you want to practice with me prior to doing it, uh, happy to do it. But the agents seem to get a kick out of it. I enjoy it. It's a great way to get agents re-involved in the videos. They start watching more and they go, oh, this I had no idea we had all these resources. So it's a great way to, to do that. KFT95, get off your aspirations. <laughs> I ran that title by a couple of people and they said, that's a great title, go ahead and use it. And you're going to hear a rant from Bob Wolf on initiative and you're going to hear Lawrence Wong, our newest uh, celebrity. He was uh, the NAR 30 under 30, he's from Brooklyn, New York, and we went on to some videos with him on January. So KFT95 is the introduction of Lawrence and you're going to watch him make 100 cold calls a morning. You're going to hear him talk to his clients. It's really uh, it's amazing what this young man has done. Next, uh, this month's quick tip, uh, 20 KFT 22. What's the secret? Everybody's looking for this secret. And Bob Wolf has the answer for that. One of the things we want to do is we go back to our very first Knox First Tuesday starting at 01 and moving our way through and updating them. So that's the beauty of having our own production company and studios. We can go back to some of our older videos that were shot in standard def and shoot them in high def, upgrade them if need be, so we will continue to do that. Uh, it's kind of like uh, picking up divots on a golf course, pick up your own and one more. So we're trying to shoot a new Knox First Tuesday uh, and then along with that update an old one. I want to take you through the accountability plan update. This is really cool. I'm going to go to the site. If you go to accountability, manage accountability, uh, this is where you get into your plans. So this is my, I'm just calling it David's demonstration plan. So I can go into edit and I'll show you some cool things we can do. We have some rich text box in there that allows you to put your own text at the beginning. So let's just the getting started. You can go into, and by the way, we move the edit button to the right <clears throat> instead of being red on red. It's white on red, which we thought would make more sense. But when you click on the edit button, you can go in and add a task. Now I'm running a webinar and, <clears throat> and this at the same time, so it's kind of choking the speed. But this is a box, you'll see it's a new box, and it's a section header, so you can write whatever notes you want. But let's go down to task, and I'm going to add a new task, and, and do an upload. So let's say um, you want to upload something relating to your company. And sometimes you can actually put the hyperlink in or you can use the word here. Then you click on this link and, and you click on upload. You choose a file and I'm going to do a sample PDF upload and uh, send it to the server. Click OK. Sorry, it's going kind of slow. And then we update the section. Section. So for those of you who have your company-specific documents and handouts and policy manuals and any number of things, maybe an outline. I know Dan Washington, who's been helping us with this, he's got a 100-page manual that he can chop into pieces. So let's now go to the agent version of this. I'm going to refresh because we added something new. Sorry about this thing running slow, but so watch, well, this is what I did here. So we click on that and this is what happens. This is my sample upload document. I just made something simple here. And you can right click or control click and you can save this, download it, uh, whatever you want to do. 
I'll go back to the action plan. We click edit and now I'll demonstrate a hyperlink. And by the way, this PDF upload, I mean, that's going to open up a whole new world for you guys. You'll go one place and every single task that has something related to it, you can put anything, images, Word docs, PowerPoints, you name it. So let's go back. I'm going to do another scroll to the bottom. I'm going to add task and um, watch this video. So I, I think the easy way to do that, this is a, our, our showcase. Uh, that talks about our training. So what you can do is take that link and copy it. We go back here. Um, there's a couple ways to do this. You can actually put the link in as I mentioned or maybe we highlight the word video. Uh, we go to the link. We type in or copy in the link and for target I always like to do new window that way it doesn't leave where they are but that's your choice so we click OK. We update the section and now any videos that you have. So, by the way, if you guys have videos that are, you know, your company videos on YouTube, add them to the task. What a great way to go. We're still working on uploading videos specifically to you, but right now you can use YouTube. So, I'm going to go back to our agent. And we go back to uh, watch overview video here. and you click on it and the video will open in a new page. So it's giving the, the ability to upload PDFs and go to links. So there it is. Here's that page, that the URL that I uploaded. And this is, by the way, this is a page you guys can frame on your website that shows the public version of Knox, or that two minute demo of our training, uh, public version of our Knox First Tuesdays, etc. So uh, I know I'm going very quickly on this, but I wanted you to at least know the capabilities that you can now create these with hyperlinks and everything else. It's going to add a lot of, a lot of flexibility to your plan. So uh, next up we're going to do work on email reporting. I've learned don't ever give a timeline for that, but that is next up on our list. So if you're ready, I am very, very excited to introduce to you uh, Branch Vice President from Annapolis, Maryland, William Peach, and I have put up some of his uh, background in this. I've, um, I think I met William quite some time ago. His company is a member of our online training and really does a good job of using it. And uh, he and I were talking a while ago and I, he was telling me what he does with New Age. I said, William, would you, would you be a guest on our first Monday in, uh, webinar? And he was happy to join us. So William, are you there and how are you? I am, David. Thank you so much for all you do. I appreciate you having me and I love all that you do. Thank you. Well, I've got some of those slides so, ready to go, so uh, I'm just going to put that one up and I'm going to let you go. If anybody has not taken him up on his offer about the sales meeting, they are awesome. Every year that he's done it for me and he's doing it again this Thursday, everybody has enjoyed it and gotten a lot out of it. And you always see a tick up in the people that go to the David Knox videos once you do it. Thank you, William. So last year we affiliated 40 new people in our office and it keeps me up at night worrying about getting them plugged in, trained, and motivated. So you and I were talking about the, the new program that you have on there that actually has an accountability piece to it, a piece where you can really measure what they're doing more than just what we had before, which was just seeing if they've watched videos or not. So breaking it down for me, I try to break it down into three different parts. First thing is giving them the techniques they need to be successful. And that's what you get with the David Knox videos, but it's only a small part of the equation. I use the example for New Year's. I decided I was going to get into better shape. I was going to work out. I already knew how to do push-ups, sit-ups, and that kind of stuff, but surprise, I still was not in good shape. So knowing that what to do from the videos is only a piece of it. The other hard part for us is getting the new agents to do those daily income producing activities. For me, that would break down to things like touching your sphere of influence. We try to get them to reach out to five people a day that know you like you and trust you. Visit with people and brainstorm, how do I increase my business? Going to your friends and family and saying, I've just gotten into real estate, how can you help me grow? adding new people to your sphere every day for sale by owners, expired, farming, all those hard activities. For me, going back to the gym, that's I've been showing up to the gym, but am I using what I learned every day? So with this accountability piece, it allows me to go online and see exactly what they're doing. 
gives me a clear, measurable roadmap that before I wasn't doing well. So what I've done is this is tweaked ours, taken your basic template and put it out there and then tweaked a lot of pieces to it. And then today, for example, I was reaching out to my new agents and saying, you know, I see that you finished 30 percent. Great job over the weekend. I see you've done 10 percent. What are you what, what are you doing over the days, over the weeks? We tried to create a point system where we took those income producing activities and gave them a certain amount of points. And those points would be things for open houses, things for income producing activities, a face to face meeting with for sale by owners, meeting with expired, sphere of influence mailing, sphere of influence callings, and trying to give more weight to the things that are face to face and less weight to the things that new agents often are drawn to, which are mailings and marketing programs and signing up for Zillow and reactive kind of stuff. And we're doing every week, we create a plan and we say, okay, you're going to get 35 points this coming week. How are you going to do that? And let them show and plan out what they're going to do to get to that 35 points. And then we do a weekly new agent training meeting. Every Wednesday we get together at 9.30, all the new agents. First thing I do is show them how many David Knox videos are you watching. Then we go over income producing activities. How many points did they do? How many things did they do that week? And then we talk about success stories because typically what we find is the people that have done the income producing activities that are watching the David Knox videos no surprise, are selling homes and the people that were too busy and didn't have a chance to get to the videos and didn't have a chance to do those things were not getting any sales done. So we try to use it as a way to show people that if you do the activities, you make the money and if you don't, you don't. Having a weekly plan every week for them to go on and see what they're doing and keeping people from falling through the cracks because one of the hard things for me is trying to make sure that nobody ever gets just dropped off. So, and it's easy that they're out there doing their own thing and not knowing what they're doing with this. It gives me a measurable way to look in and measure what they're actually doing each week. And so I went through and we email all of those people and say, I see you weren't able to get on to the accountability plan. What, what 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 happened last week? If they don't make our meetings, we call them up and say, I see you weren't able to make the meeting last week. What happened? And just trying to keep that accountability piece and constantly putting it in front of them. So uh, we we last for, week, uh, I want to hear a little bit yep. more about that. When you call them all the time, uh, tell me, like, you know, when do you do that? How often? What's the response to that? Because I think that's that's taken a lot of really good initiative on your side. Well, so it's new for us. So all of this is all brand new. We had just reached out and did your accountability plan with everybody, invited them all out. People got involved. People who didn't, I had my OA reach out to them and say, I see that you didn't get a chance to do that. Is that a problem? Is there a way I can help you through that? And then at the meeting, we show what they've done in their accountability plan and go over it. And then today my OA and I reached out to people and said, hey, I see that you didn't have a chance. Right now I'm doing it very easily, just saying you, you, you didn't have a chance. Was there a problem getting on to it? How did you work it? That kind of thing. Okay. And how are they responding to your phone calls? It was amazing. So for our new agent training, we're typically getting about 15 to 20 people. When we made the phone calls, then the following week, guess what? We had the most people we've ever had because whenever you focus on something, it grows. So when we started thinking about it, talking about it and saying, hey, we noticed you didn't make the meeting. When I say we've noticed that you're not clicking on the David Knox videos and getting any training. When I say we've noticed that you're not working that accountability, I think that it will grow. Good. Yeah, the inspect what you expect. Well, that's great. That's uh, and how, maybe I'll kind of focus a bit more. How do you work that into your schedule? Do you time block it? I'm thinking of the busy managers listening in, going, "Man, I got a full day. How do how do you work it in?" Yeah, exactly. And you know, my favorite video that you have, period, is Kathy Kaler's KF two seventy four one which is where she says every morning when she comes in, she does the same thing every day from, let's say, 9 to 11. She does this, that, and the other. So I try to break out a period of time where I just go to recruiting 
and then I have a period of time where I'm going to follow up on the people that I recruited because I could be the best recruiter in the world, but if I'm not feeding and growing these people, it's going to be worthless. What good is bringing in 40 bodies if they don't sell any real estate? And then I can't sleep at night because then I feel like I brought these people in in a fraud. <laughs> so I try to block out a period of time. We do new agent training once a week, every week, and I do a class every day. And typically a lot of the stuff that I get from my classes is through your system. And I have a great story. So I've been telling this and we have a brand new agent who came up to me and said, well, I heard that last year you did 300 videos. And I said, yeah, I watched 300. And she says, well, then I'm going to beat you every week. I'm going to come into this meeting on Wednesdays and I'm going to show you that I've watched more videos than you. So that's somebody that's all in. I mean, that is exactly what I'm looking for. I just love it. And when we didn't talk about it, it didn't happen. It was and just one did, more program that sits on the shelf. And this lady did 300 videos? Seriously? No, I did. Last oh, you, year for you, I did 300 videos. If you don't remember, the funny story is you cut me off because you thought I was giving out the password or something. You have a <laughs> fail safe in your system that when I hit 300, it locked me out and I called in and your office said, oh yeah, how did you watch so many? I watch it, I listen to it every day on my way into work and on the way home. Oh, that's funny. And by the way, just so people listening know what that means, we do have a views limit of 20 per video and usually the only people that hit that 20 are, a, it's usually a manager who has a favorite video and he or she keeps showing it in a recruiting interview or training and if you do hit that limit, yeah, call us and we will do a reset on that, but <laughs> thank you. Tell me uh, more about your Wednesday meeting, maybe uh, how long it goes and some other stuff that you'll do in it. So we do an hour. Again, we're starting it off now talking about, you know, David Knox views, talking about the accountability, and then planning out with that sheet of, of what they're going to do next week, talking about success stories. I had somebody walk into the open house over the weekend four weeks ago, and now they're buying a home. Um, and then we talk about the things that they're having problems with, the roadblocks, the things that they're hitting, and we just go over that. It's a great time for them to share, and more importantly, I think that they see when people are doing, because if in a vacuum, they don't realize that maybe one open house isn't enough because the guy sitting next to him did four open houses last weekend, and he had two transactions. Yeah, good to hear. So, Yeah, and I think the power of the group, you know, there's a belief that, People can all sell real estate by themselves in little silos in their cars driving around, and I flat out, flatly disagree with that. And uh, people who got away from uh, weekly meetings, um, I just flatly disagree with that. It absolutely does not work. And if you do have meetings, it does work. So do you have any other ideas to convince anyone else who's anti-meeting to get them started? Well, I, I think that, it, you know, back to the working out thing with Weight Watchers and everything else, when they get together and you're like, oh, my God, I'm going to be getting together in two days and I have to talk about what I didn't do last week, it makes you go do 10 push-ups and sit-ups and everything else. So I definitely think that being in front of somebody and having to be accountable is is what it takes. And, and I love live meetings, so we do a class almost every day, and many of them are David Knox, watch your video, get an idea, and we go in and we discuss those topics. We have them watch a video. But I, I think that if it's consistent that I get them in the office first thing in the morning and they stay and then they work. If I let them stay at home all day, then I think that typically that life would fill them up and they wouldn't get a lot of real estate work done. Yeah. How are, how are the meetings different between the, the ones you do every, every day, you say, and Wednesday? Are there... Well, Wednesday is just for new agents, and the other days I would pick a different topic for sale by owners, expired, how to do an open house, whatever else, and then we would we would have those classes through the remainder of the week. Every Monday we do contracts, so we go through a contract every Monday. Every Wednesday we do new agent training. Every Thursday we do a sales meeting followed up by a property tour, going out and getting to know the inventory. And then every Friday I do tech classes. Wow, that's incredible. I had no I, I knew you were doing a lot of training. I had no idea you were doing that much, William. That is great. But what a great way for me, too, because understand, it, it, the only reason I know the systems and I watch your videos is because guess what? If I've got to do a class on it, I've got to watch that video five times. I've got to hear other people doing it. It's not like I wake up in the morning and know all this stuff. 
So it forces me to learn it really well because I got to go and talk in front of people about it. By the way, there's uh, for those of you who did tune in, I'm watching people tune in. For those of you who missed, we're visiting with William Peach, branch vice president in Annapolis, Maryland, and uh, he's with a Coldwell Banker company there. That's one of our members. So that's who you're talking. By the way, for those of you listening, uh, if you want to type in a question, I'm gonna now's the time to start typing, and I'll take a peek and pass it on to William. Uh, maybe tell me some more stories of uh, of an agent that. You know, you've gone through all this new agent training and what's happened to them. Maybe good and bad, you know, the, win, the wins and the losses. Yeah, right now my, my top new guy, I mean, he really took your open house videos to heart. I mean, you've got some great videos talking about how people have built businesses on open houses. And in my class, we typically, most people were holding one open house on Sunday from one to three. He came in and, and listened to your videos and said, I'll do four a weekend. Well, guess what? He had four times the results. And he, at first, when he first started doing them, he wasn't having immediate results. So you go to the gym, you do your push-ups, you don't walk out and suddenly be muscular. And he was getting a little frustrated. But in the weekly classes, he's able to talk about it. And then a month in, guess what? Those people that he met a month ago are now ready. And it's perfect timing for them. And then he started knocking down and knocking down different appointments and then meeting with people and then selling homes. And then once that happened and people saw that, they said, wow, maybe the new norm isn't once a week. Maybe it's twice a week. Maybe it's four times a week. So I think that them seeing what other people can do and then seeing the success is what motivates them more than me coming up and saying, you should do an open house four times a week. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, you just keep supporting that that group, uh, the power of the group. And I, gosh, if we can get that back into this industry, um, I think everybody's going to make a lot of money. It's a lot of work, and it sounds like you consider that just part of your job, right? The most important part. Yep. We have a question from Rhonda. Do you offer a separate training time frame for part-time agents? Uh, what's the best approach to get part-time agents engaged? Well, that's another gap that I think your videos, and by the way, I don't work for David, so I'm really telling it from the heart, that fills in for me because I'm typically there Monday through Friday. So part-time people in general I'm careful with because i got to make sure that they got a way of getting plugged in and trained, taking time off, being available for their clients because I don't want people coming in that are only available two nights and never go to any trainings, but the people that can come to our, we do something called Skill Builder, which is nine classes all day long over 30 days. That's sort of their beginning toolbox. If they can't make those things, they, they usually don't work out at our office. But if they can, the supplement that I use is your videos, is, is using this accountability thing and seeing that they're really watching videos and learning through the videos. But no, I'm not typically running evening classes. So I want to understand that. So for the, you're still doing the part-time during the day. So if I have people that want to affiliate with us part-time and have no availability during the day, they typically wouldn't work in our office because okay. most of our trainings and everything are there. So they need to have a flexible schedule. And honestly, they have to have a flexible schedule to work real estate anyway. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, that may frustrate Rhonda because I'm assuming she's – Probably asking question about people who work during the day and then uh, part time at night. But I, you know, I understand both sides. Of that one hand, you uh, you want them to be available for clients because that's what we do. On the other hand, if they're transitioning from one job to another, evenings may be the only thing. Okay, thanks for that answer. And I'm going to scroll down. Any other questions? Um, have you had any? And let me, I, I don't want to be negative, but I want to be realistic. Have you ever had ages? That it just doesn't work for them. What do you do? Maybe you know they go through all the training and it just doesn't work out. Um, what do you do then? Of course. So typically, I do regularly every three to six months. We're checking on people and where what kinds of transactions they're doing, and if they're not doing anything, I put them in six weeks. Every week for six weeks, they meet with me for a period of time to keep them on task of the income-producing activities because the plan works if you work it. And, and put them on there, and if they can't get anything done over a period of time, you start having a business discussion with them, because in our area, it costs almost $3,000 a year to have a real estate license. So it's a waste of time and energy if you're not going to be able to put in enough time to make any money out of it. 
Well, I want to refer everybody listening to the video KMT, Knox Management Training 07, uh, 30-day upper out plan. It is a compassionate way to sit down with an agent, um, maybe before you fire that person, <clears throat> sit down with them and just say, hey, how are you feeling about your production to date? And uh, do you still want to be in the business? Do you want some help? And get some permission from the agent to do that. And then go in through your through your weekly processes of assigning activities. And it really comes down to activities. So, uh, William, anything else you want to add to this? I don't, I'm scrolling down. I see no further questions. Well, I just feel like that I'm just learning this thing too, and it's constantly changing. So I wanted to put it out there that if anybody else is doing other things, has ideas they're willing to share, I'd love it if you'd share it with me. And my email is wpeach, P E A C H, at cbmove.com. That's Cobo Banker, M O V E.com. Oh, you know and what? And also, gonna... you just showed one. That's okay. That's a good one too. That's my oh, name, the... William Peach at Verizon.net. That's my home one. Okay. Well, I, yeah, Either I think. One. I think for anybody listening and also those in the recording, one of the ways that we can build these accountability plans is, you know, share some ideas, uh, um, you know, maybe not your proprietary stuff, but things that you think would help. So, um, you know, I can put it in the template. And I'm also looking for some different templates, and I'm actually thinking about doing some management accountability plans, maybe developing one on recruiting and, and collecting tasks there. I'm going to scroll back down and see if uh, we have any more questions. Well, uh, William, thank you so, so much for doing this. I'm, I'm happy to hear that you are uh, doing well in new agent training. And I guess to summarize, it's meetings and activities. I mean, you're actually getting people together face-to-face -face in a meeting for an hour, um, holding them accountable to the meetings, and then getting people focused on activities. That's, you know, that's how it goes. So, William, I thank you so much for that. Uh, I want to remind people that our consumer videos, you guys have always known about pricing and preparing. We updated those last year. I want you to know that Selling by Owner uh, was just updated last week. It's available on DVD as of, I think, this morning. The discs are coming in, but it's available online. Um, but I went through and watched it. When we're all done, I watched it through. I got about halfway through the video, and I went, oh, my gosh. I'll bet you there's a lot of real estate agents who won't want to be in the business when they see how tough it is. So imagine what we'll do. Uh, to for sale by owners and we also had that available online delivery so you can uh, talk to us about that so before I wrap it up I want to see if any other questions I'm going to scroll down not seeing any well William thanks again very much and uh, I'm you're, we're going to reverse this you're going to Skype me into your meeting on Thursday right look forward to it thank you David all right well thanks a lot William and for the rest of you thanks for joining me today thanks for being members of real estate training by davidknox.com and I wish you a wonderful February, and I hope your agents get off their aspirations. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot.